Hi! How's it going? How are you? How's your heart? Okay, good, we'll work on that. Hi everybody, welcome back. Nope. Hey everybody, I'm G. And if you don't know me, I hope you're here to learn more about me, yay! Welcome back for another Vlogmas video. I can't believe that we are closing in on the last week of Vlogmas. This is crazy, crazy, yeah. Hi everyone, I'm so excited to be making today's video. We're gonna do my current favorites. Now this is going to encompass a lot of different categories. So buckle up, buckle up. I'm very excited to share these with you guys. Hopefully I get through these pretty quickly and I don't babble the way I usually do when it comes to favorites and item recommendations. We're gonna jump in first and do the makeup category. We all know I'm a makeup junkie. If you know me, you know that there's a collection of makeup in my closet and I don't talk about it a lot, but that's because I tend to hoard makeup. I've been collecting a lot of makeup since I was Ooh, I don't know, probably in high school. I think I fell in love with like the beauty side of YouTube first and then I discovered the vlog side and so the beauty side really got me attached. So these are some products that I'm loving right now and that I've been consistently using for a little while and I'll tell you a little bit about them. So first, it's not even a surprise because I talk about this stuff in my YouTube videos, in my stories. Like I'm aware, you guys are probably like, we get it, you like rare beauty. So I'm here to share with you that I am now a user of the Rare Beauty Foundation and Concealer Duo. I have never used a foundation concealer duo from the same brand ever, ever. And I love this stuff. This foundation, I don't even, it doesn't feel like you have anything on your face. It feels like there's literally nothing on when you have this foundation on and it gives you great coverage. You can build it up and it won't make you feel cakey. And when you build it up, you still don't feel like there's anything on your face. And then this concealer really brightens you up. Like really brightens you up. Hand. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We love it, we stand it, we are here for it. I love you. Next in the makeup line, we have another duo that I've been using for about a week now and I'm really really liking what I'm seeing and that is my mascara duo now you're probably saying to yourself to self you only need one mascara and to you I say that is wrong because you need different mascaras to do different things to your lashes I just feel that way and for me my lashes are like a big part of my face and so are my eyebrows so I just feel that those specifically need to come out do you know what I'm saying I think you do so the two mascaras that I'm using right now are the, I don't know how to pronounce this brand and I'm going to butcher it. The Ilia or Ilia or I really don't know how you pronounce that. So that's this brand and this is what the wand looks like. It is one of the newer brands at Sephora. It doesn't, you get the gist. This is what it looks like. This is a smaller company and I really like what it does. It's the Limitless Lash Mascara. And I think this is for lengthening because the other one that I use, I know it's for volume and I really enjoy it. So this is for lengthening and it does really great things with my KKW Beauty Mascara. If you know me, you know I love those Kardashians, okay? Some would call me a blind stan, you know? You know, but these two together, I'm telling you, they give you, they give you everything. They give you the volume. They give you the length. Do you see that? I'm telling you. Just because Kim's name is on here, don't let that, don't let that distract you, okay? It's a great product and I recommend it to my mom, my sister, my friends. I'm telling you. My friends know I talk about KKW Beauty all the freaking time. Well, I don't all the time, but like I mentioned that I buy it. You know what I'm saying? So that's my second favorite. My third favorite is in the highlighter category of makeup. And the first one is the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. This is what it looks like. There we go. I love this stuff. I either wear it by itself or I wear it with my foundation. I find that it gives you such a beautiful glow and it hydrates you. Like, it makes you look so hydrated, not that it hydrates you. It makes you look so hydrated. 
I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. I have never gotten more compliments on my makeup than when I have this on by itself. This is what the applicator looks like. It's a doe foot. I think that's what those things are called. This is what it looks like. We really enjoy it. And I'm in the shade three. I think it's similar to like a tinted moisturizer in my opinion, because it doesn't give you full coverage, but it for sure has like tint to it. Does that make sense? I hope that does. So that's that one. And I love it so much. You can either use it as a highlighter, a base, or just by itself. And I live for it. I will keep buying this over and over. Now, this next product that I'm going to show you, it's also in the makeup category. It's also in the highlighter category. It is the Becca Prismatic Amethyst Highlighter. Okay. This is what it looks like. Can you see that? Please focus. This isn't going to do it justice. When you put this on, it looks like there is a rainbow on your face. Like it highlights your face so perfectly. And I'm going to be honest with you. The reason I bought this is because of a person in my life. It reminded me a lot of her and I thought to myself, what better way to remember this human every day than to have a highlighter that reminds you of her when you use it. People give me endless compliments on this highlighter when I wear it. They're like, what's that highlighter you have on? And I'm like, prismatic amethyst yo it reminds me of my friend ally okay because this specifically when you put it on it looks like there's a rainbow on your freaking face and it glistens in the sun and the reason it reminds me of ally let me tell you my friend ally she loves glitter she loves two things in life chugging water and glitter <laughs> you're gonna hate me for that but it's okay she loves glitter she loves sparkle like sparkle is alley, alley is sparkle. You don't get one without the other. Do you get what I'm saying here? Okay, great. Okay, remember you got it cause alley, it's not a lie, Allison. I really did get it cause it reminds me of you, okay? okay. That is the last item in my makeup favorites. We're gonna move over into skincare. Skincare and wellness, I guess you could say. I'm very passionate about skincare if you didn't know. I have dealt with cystic acne for a lot of my late teen slash early adult life. I deal with hormonal cystic acne. I'm on medication for it, whatever, but I'm always trying to find things to like treat my skin and help out in hydration and help in like repairing the scars that I have because I have a lot on my cheeks, if you can't tell. I usually don't get too close or I cover them up, but today I will show you. Here are the scars on my cheeks. Those are from years of popping pimples. So if anybody under the year of 15 is watching, don't pop your pimples. Don't do it. Listen to your mom. She knows what she's talking about. On the topic of popping pimples, I'm going to talk about the Acne Pimple Master Patch. These guys have saved my life more than once. If you've got a little friend that comes out of nowhere, uninvited might I add, and you pop this little guy on before you go to bed or in the morning, by the end of the day, this thing will turn white. Like they're little tiny circles and they're like stickers that you put on your face. I'm sure you've seen them all over the medias. the medias you just put them on your little pimple guy and then like over 12 hours it'll basically suck all the oil out of the pimple is what i understand i mean honestly most of this is in korean but i looked it up online and it kind of like pulls all the oil out of your pimple and the little patch will turn white and then when you take it off your pimple will be a lot less red a lot less inflamed and hopefully not raised any longer these things are great i believe you can get them in ulta I don't know how many they come with, I forget. Let's look. 24 patches. Okay, so 24 di different little pimple patch guys. And they have different sizes. We love them, they're great. Next we have this, okay, this mask. This is the second time I have bought it and I love it. I love it. It takes a little bit more effort when you put it on. So it is the Dr. Jart Cryo Rubber Brightening Vitamin C Mask. It's this one right here, like I said. It comes with like a little insert of vitamin C that you have to put on your face first and then you put the actual mask on and you leave it on for I believe like 30 to 40 minutes and then it has little directions on the back but you leave it on for like 30 to 40 minutes that's how I did it and it's two part mask so you have the upper part and the lower part it's great I love this stuff it actually does feel like it cools your face down this picture is kind of creepy but it really does feel like it cools your face down I feel like it really helps with the vitamin C I don't know, my face just felt like it was glowing after I used this the first time, so that's why I bought another one. Okay, next we have my Pixie Beautiful Eye Brightening Eye Patches, these guys. So these are like your typical, let's see if it'll focus. There it goes. 
Okay, so these are like your typical eye patches. They help brighten your dark circles. I love these things, okay? I use them all the freaking time. I use them on Sunday mornings. I use them today. I use them on days after I like have an event, like if I had had a wedding or something like that, or if I went to dinner with my friends and we stayed out too late talking or hanging out or getting drinks or whatever it may be. I use these and they really depuff your under eye and they really do make it look brighter. I have dark circles, you can kind of tell right now. This eye more than this one for sure. But I have dark circles under my eyes from like years of staying up way too late in college studying. And they don't go away. Those things don't freaking go away. So these really have helped me and I love them a lot. Specifically the vitamin C. I haven't tried any of the other ones. And I love these things, you can buy them at Target. Next we have... Um, I've talked about this a million times and it's a classic, but it's the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Vanilla. Love this stuff. Can't say enough good things about it. You guys have heard me talk your ear off about it, so I won't bore you. But this stuff, I love. I use it every night. Now, I'm not telling you to go out and get these. I'm not telling you that you need these in your life, but they've made a big difference in mine. I've needed a good probiotic ever since I started eating almost a full plant-based diet. So... If you don't know why, go watch my first uh, vlog. It explains everything there. Actually, I'll link it down below. So I use these probiotics by Love Wellness, and I love them. I got them at Ulta. I have been trying out a bunch of different types of probiotics, and I seem to really like these a lot. So probiotics kind of just help that extra, like it gives you that extra oomph and like helps your tummy kind of probiotics are great i won't talk your ear off about them do your own research but i love these and i have switched it up i've tried a couple other brands and these so far i really like i think you take two a day with these yeah you take two a day with a meal i love these so that's that next we have jewelry now that's these little guys that i have on here they're my favorites my stackable gold necklaces and my uncommon james girl boss hoop earrings I love that these aren't the conventional circle hoops. I love them a lot. These are beautiful. They're a great gift for anybody too right now. They're a great Christmas gift. I don't know anybody that would receive these and say, I don't want those. They're great, okay? Take my word for it. They look beautiful with any outfit. Your hair up in a ponytail or down looks great. I love them so much and they have so many different sizes. I believe these are the largest size because you girl loves hoops. Uncommon James and any stackable necklaces from Etsy. Last in the wellness category, we have my blue light glasses from Felix Gray. I love blue light glasses. Now that I'm doing stuff on the computer all the freaking time and on my phone, I need blue light glasses. Otherwise, I end up with massive headaches. So these are my favorite, these Felix Gray ones. They are so cute. They don't have that, like, I don't know if you can tell, but they don't have that yellow greenish tint to the lenses that every other blue light glasses seem to have and that's why I love them. They also don't have that weird like flashback when you're taking a picture if that makes sense. So I love my blue light glasses from Felix Grey. They are so important to me. If you're on the computer a lot, it's definitely something to look into or like think about investing in. Amazon also has some great ones that are a lot cheaper, but I just really wanted ones that didn't have the yellow tint that all the other ones had and that's why I went with the Felix Grey. Those are my last in the wellness category, but my last category overall is going to be music. Now, my favorites in music right now, I just have two. My first favorite of music is the Evermore album by Taylor Swift that she just put out. I'm obsessed. I can't stop listening to it. I think I might like Folklore a little better, but I'm not 100% sure. Let me know which of the two you like better. Leave in the comments below. Let I really love Evermore. Champagne Problems is my favorite song on that album. So that's my first favorite. And my second is the new Maggie Rogers album. I think it's called like Notes from the Archives or something like that. I love it. I love Maggie Rogers. She keeps popping into my life recently over the past couple weeks. And I think it's a sign that I need to listen to her music again. And also because her new album came out, duh. But I love Maggie. I love Taylor. They are two of the greatest musicians of all time that I love. So. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed all my favorites. Let me know if you have any of these and what you think, because I'm curious. That is all for my video today. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram and TikTok. Give me a follow, okay? They're down below. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another Vlogmas video. Bye everybody.